all, Chaos Pogoff here. I'll be teaching you about integers and such. Integers are pretty much just like numbers to the end developer, like you just, you can store numbers. You can store numbers at that, basically, for y'all. Integer, uh, for example, in Java we just do int x equals 9, pretty simple. However, I assume since you clicked into this video, for, uh, you want to know about integers, like, well, so do you have clicked this video? I was gonna swear, but I can't really swear this video because I kinda wanna, like, show this to some people in school. I don't really can't really swear, so, it's like a swear. Uh, so I just, uh, so I assume you all know about binary numbers to one degree. Some degree, like, one, zeros, and that's crap, like, true, false. They can be signed or unsigned depending on this. They can either hold a positive or a negative value. Positive 8-bit, for example, stores have a leading zero followed by seven other bits. Now, um, I, there's a lot of, there's a lot of crap I can explain. I'm not gonna explain like 30, oh, uh, how 6, 32-bit, 16, etc. I'll start a memory because they're basically the same. You get a digit followed by seven. Oh, you have no digit followed by another. Um, the format matches zero x seven times uh positive sign etc. Sign signif uh, plus seven bits. The value in decimal of the significant bits, the last seven bits. Negative uh, eight bit refers to a have a leading one and a half followed by seven other bits. You get the point. The format matches one. Y, 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 etc., etc. Negative sign plus uh, seven uh, significant bits. Their value is negative 128, which is 2 minus the power of 7, plus the decimal of value of the significant bits. Thanks, Soft Duty, for the explanation. Uh, you have some trouble with, uh, uh, with the differences between signed and unsigned. We can sign a number, use up a 1, for uh, use up one little like digit. Uh, I don't know why I said that. I don't know why. I I kept saying numbers, I guess I forgot the word digit exists, but, yo, in my script it does not say digits, I probably should have just said that, but yo, it's too late now to actually change the script. Uh, but essentially, you can still use, use up one digit for negative numbers at the cost of having a reduced size. Like, for example, like, let's, uh, actually, no, I'm gonna go over it later on, so I'm not gonna explain it right now. Now, a one or a zero is called a bit, while a byte is eight of them, that's why, like, that's why the difference is between, like, gigabit and gigabyte like a gigabyte is a lot a gigabyte is still a lot like i have one gigabyte and that's still really fast but a byte is even more it's about eight times that's what like you gotta make so if something says bit that's less than a byte which is kind of confusing eight bit aka a byte oh uh, it's just a sequence of bits i mean in java it's a byte 16 bit same case it's just a sequence of bits in java it's so uh, 32 bit aka an integer and yep, you also might have guessed it. It's a sequence of bi bytes. And it's just an int in Java and in other languages. Um, in C -SOP, um, in Java, well, you cannot store an unsigned or signed. They're probably all ways of doing it, but by default, you can really only store signed numbers. Well, in C -SOP, I know there's, I believe, a S byte. I don't think there's a Q to suit for soap. There were 16 bit unsigned numbers, but I know there was a way to store uh, 8 bit unsigned numbers in C style, but Java you can only store signed numbers, which is really if you in, if you're programming in Java or C style, you probably don't have to do with them. But I'm gonna maybe talk about us a little bit in the script, but uh you don't really have to deal with that crap. Uh 132 bits are just in you just in it acts and crap. On uh, most modern computers, as long as you don't have a ton of memory, like if you have like incredibly little memory. If you're programming in C or Rust or C++, like, if you're doing low level, you might have to deal with it more, but if you're in Java, if you can run the JVM, I really doubt you're having to program to the absolute optimal degree, where well, that would really make a significant difference. I mean, maybe, but, eh, I just don't think you really would. Okay, okay. now 8-bit sign introduced can st uh, still up to and below, so like it can still negative 155 and a uh, positive 155. A 8-bit unsigned number can still up to 255, but it has to be positive. It cannot be a negative number. Uh, so 16-bit can still up to 32,767 or below to negative 32,767 and 
six five uh six uh sixty five thousand five hundred thirty five for unsigned numbers. Uh, thirty two bit numbers can sell up to two to the thirty first power. Well, an unsigned uh and signed 32 bit integers can sell up to 2 to the 32. I'd be kind of get it. Like, for example, we can do, because we're using op a exponent basically, all in memory. So, whenever we want to sign a number, so. But, I mean, as we as we see, we get out, it gets less and less important. Like, yeah, you're probably not storing this. And you're definitely not going to need to do with 64 bit. Because I don't, I didn't even matter looking up the 64 bit uh, unsigned number. Because you're not going to need it. You're not gonna need it. If you need it, you're probably messing up your code. At least you know, let's just take a look at this video in 2020. I don't know, what if some like major technology advancement happens? Then yeah, you might need it, but uh, yeah. Basically, we just, like for example, we can store 2 to the 7th seventh, uh, seventh power. Uh, pretend, uh, with a 8 bit, uh, 8 byte number. 8, a byte, uh, a byte, uh, 8 bit number, crap. Uh, we can do that, but. If we don't, uh, if you need, uh, if you don't care, and in 8 bits, like, that's why the thing with the Nin Nintendo Entertainment System, 8 bit graphics and all that stuff, because they had 8 bit CPUs and were limited up to that amount of integers, I believe. To my, it's probably a lot more complicated. I'm probably gonna end the video very soon. I'm gonna get the outro finished. I mean, say the outro, I don't know why I said finish it. Because, I mean, there's, there's better videos explaining, like, this whole concept. But I hope you kind of get it. Like, this is a good last tech video. Uh, I am not going to go into 64 bit numbers, like I said. That's just, that's just, like, the video. They're cute as well. Like, yeah, they're, like, trillions, if I call something like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, so guys. Have a wonderful day, guys. And goodbye. Oh, my jaw hurts right now. Bye, guys.